Hi there, and welcome to The Real Makeup Show. I'm your resident real makeup artist, Chanel Prestige, and today we are going to do the darkest, smokiest eyes that we can possibly muster. Um, okay, the darker side of smoky, if you will. All right, my, so you see that I have, I meant to say all right, my lovelies. Um, so you see I have makeup on, and I'm ready to kind of just get down to some get down with uh, using black eyeshadows. And then some other things to add a bunch of uh, hyper shine to this to make it fun for evening, um, catch the light more, uh, a little bit more flashy. Uh, but I think the first thing we're going to start with is this palette, which is a Christian Dior palette. And it is called, it's the five pack and it's called Twilight. Now I'm going to use the black that's in the center there. I may throw in a little bit of that navy. It's pretty gorgeous if I find a place for it, but we're going to basically work with black eyeshadow. Um, it's such a taboo area for many, many people, and I hope that um, we'll make it really accessible to everybody. Okay, so I'm going to introduce, I have um, this wonderful crease brush this is one of my many crease brushes, um, one that I like very much as well. I kind of have a big crush on a lot of my brushes, but this one is wonderful and it's extremely affordable. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush and I got this at Target. And I have to say, it kind of blew my mind. Um, okay, so I'm gonna dab a little bit of this. Let me get this in here so everybody can see what's going on. So again, I'm gonna introduce a little bit of shadow. So I'm going to touch it down, get a little bit on one side so I know where my product is, so I don't just get it all over the place, get black going, and have no idea where it is on my brush. You need to know where it is so that you know that you have control and you know where you can, you're going to be applying it, okay? So, my little elephant ear. All right, so I'm going to start, I'm going to do, well, let's just do a heavy crease. Let's do a black crease and then I can fill in to the lid so that you guys can see different stages of smoky with black. Move the fringe on out of the way. I remember where I placed my black shadow. I'm going to start in the inner corner here and create some serious depth with that. Now I don't know if I maybe came down a little too low there, but it's not, I mean you can do that, but just too low for what I'm going for. So, and you see how I'm quickly blending that in? How that's giving me a lot of definition right away. I'm gonna do the same. Pr just lightly touch the brush down into the black shadow, lift it, tap the excess off maybe two, three times. Again, I'm gonna introduce some more under the orbital bone, out, up onto the bone, and I, as I'm blending. You see, I'm just using what remains. I've only picked up product on this brush two times, and I haven't had to work it in to pick up the product. I'm just lightly picking it up, again, laying it down in the product, picking it up, up right out of there, tapping the excess off, and then applying. Uh, I think I'm going to add a tiny bit more. Now, I'm going to switch brushes on you. I'm going to go to another brush for more, um, I'm going to go to this brush now. I can pick up uh, a little less product because the tip isn't as wide, um, but it's a densely packed bristle. So I'm going to just, on the little point there is where I'm going to pick up from. So I'm just going to go right at the point, touching it down in there, tapping the excess off. And I want to go up under the bone. I'm going to start in the outer corner and work it up. I'm going to tap it in again. You see how we're really creating definition here? And then let's blend it up a little bit. I'm using the side of the brush just to kind of use what I have on my eye actually to blend up. Okay. 
Now I'm trying to be careful. Well, maybe I don't want that much in there for now. I think that's just that's enough. You see how much whew, you see how much bigger my eye looks on that side than the other side. I've created a lot of contour basically, shadow. Anything that creates a shadow is called contour and anything that um, adds light is a highlight. Um, so I've created a lot of contour there and I think we're going to go up on the bone a little bit more. So I still have some that remains on this brush and I'm just going to add it, blend it in little incremental stages on up. You see how that kind of gives that smoky effect, but it's much softer. And I'm going to take the original brush, my crease brush, my wonderful Sonia Kashuk crease brush, and I'm going to sort of blend off what was on there, just kind of take it down a little bit so it's not too concentrated, and I'm going to go up and I'm going to blend this some more. So we get a really nice taper and feather and it doesn't look to everything blends into each other. So it's nice and dark, but it blends into each other. And that's just for the lid area. Okay, so let's um let's do that on the other side. I'm gonna tuck my fringe. Go in, place the brush down, and if I remember where that is, right in there. You see what's going on? And down. I do like to start in the center because it helps me to create a good amount of balance with how wide open of a space I'm going to create for my eye. And then I taper down to the corner, in the outer corner. Okay, picking up some more. Kind of started with a bang, there we go. Started with a bang on the other side. All right, and you see, I mean, I'm taking my time. That's why these videos seem to be <laughs> in two parts rather than one because it really does entail blending and being very particular about where you're going and controlling your product. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna get my hand on the other side over here. Again, blending whatever remains on the brush up uh, now here's a really good thing I wanted to point out, especially when you're using really dark shades. I mean in general, you, you want to be aware about aware of how far over you go for your eye. Um, as a general rule, this isn't always this doesn't always apply, but as a general rule, you want to take a brush and you go you can kind of point it from the very end of your brow. Well so mine I feel, kind of ends a little shy of where I can go with this and you angle it towards the corner of the eye and you kind of stay within that. Now, same with the other side. I could extend my brow down a little bit more uh, to frame the whole area and it wouldn't appear but I don't necessarily need to 